hey good day what's up welcome to my channel don't mind the white background and not seeing my face just here with a simple message for you remember to live and lead with love remember whatever you are doing make sure you are happy doing it don't ever let anyone pressure you into doing something that you don't want to do people will push you around have you doing things that you really don't want to do but you do it just because you know the consequences that may come behind it so you do it always learn to stand firm in any situation that you are in don't say if me did know you know don't use that if i had known i wouldn't do it stay true to yourself because remember in life you can do a hundred good and one time you cannot pull through for someone they will see you as the worst person. You, you are the worst. You have never done anything good. You know, even when you go miles and miles and miles and miles. And also, don't let people with bad energy drain your energy. People may see you And saying, ah, oh, my ears I should do this. I heard that she did this, you know. And you within yourself, no, you didn't do it. But you stay silent. Or while you're silent, you grieve about the situation. Because you know deep down you're innocent about the situation that you're speaking on. Learn to be strong in those situations. Don't allow them to overcome you. Don't allow them to overpower you. You know. I have watched in my whole entire life, from I was little growing up, I had I have seen things happen where people treat me or treat other people that I know a certain way. And I used to sit and cry about it, stress myself, and it didn't stop. So you know what I started to do? I started to choose me. In other time, I said, you know what? I'm going to start being selfish. But guess what? When I say I am going to be selfish, I don't mean that I'm going to treat someone different. I mean that I'm going to choose me. Because a lot of person may think when a person says, I'm going to start being selfish. It's like, you're going to be bad to the next person. No, you're going to choose yourself. You're not going to allow other person to break you. Because a person will have more than you and still bad mind you. Yeah, a person will have more than you and still envy you. You know, if you realize sometimes I cheat the patois in. Sometimes I cheat the standard English. Because, you know, I really want to speak this in patois, straight patois. But I remember that I have people who follow me who are not only Jamaicans, you know, who subscribe to my channel. They are not only Jamaicans. So I want them to understand what I am saying. So just be true to yourself. Don't allow peer pressure to get the best of you. Don't ever allow that, you know. And number one, if you have a friend, and I have to touch on this topic. Or a loved one. Can be a family member. And the moment something happened between you and that person. They have all the bad and negative things to say about you. Which they have never said it to you. Or they have an issue with that. While they were your friends. Don't ever let that person back in your personal space. You can love them from afar. Just love those people. Is it have people that you don't have to deal with? Um, you don't hate them. Because I have people like that. That I don't hate. 
but I don't deal with them. Like, I don't even speak with them, you know. It have sometimes some little things happen and separate you from someone. And you're like, oh my God, why? Why did I lose this person? But it's because it's for a reason. That person wasn't supposed to be in your life. You know, that person was not supposed to be in your life. You know, so them time expires. It seems like, oh, it have goods that got expired. It have some people, they'll be in your life for years. And just one simple thing happen and break away years of friendship, relationship, you know, etc. You know, so there is a lot of things in life that we have to be careful about. And I was just sitting here strolling on the internet and this is what come to me, you know. And I said, you know, I'm going to do a video on this. I'm not going to show my face, but I'm going to do a video on this because <laughs> it is serious. Um, I'm using someone's situation. I don't know if you all see what is going on over the internet from since last night till this morning. Where they have this, this certain people. I don't want to call their names, you know. <laughs> Because you know, you know what, people can go like, out, where's I'm putting it on my platform. You have a certain couple where they're no longer a couple. But, you know, the woman always come out and said, the man is a deadbeat. He's a deadbeat father. And I always have all this bad to say about him. Oh, he's doing charity, but he's deadbeat. But on the other hand, he always stay quiet. Hmm. I always look at it like, most time when a person stay quiet, I know all the time when I saw you going on. Because a lot of us females will make a man look bad. Even when they are good to their child. Just because they cannot get the man, they will use the child in between it. And a lot of people, a lot of female will never give a next woman wrong. Even when they know deep down that female is wrong, they will never. I am not one of those kind of female. If a female wrong, them wrong. If a man wrong, them wrong. No. I listen to the guy YouTube channel. And he's stating that all the toxic things that the girl do. And like the reason why he really stay away from the kids is because every time they get in contact about the kids is always something crazy happen. Always something crazy take place. So he's trying to protect his peace and from going to jail. And everybody know that being in America, nobody wants to go to jail here. Nobody want to give up their freedom, you know. And he know within himself that, oh, these kids are going to be in good hand. They're going to be well taken care of. And please do not come for me. Because what he say makes sense. You understand? Because if that woman going to climb a ladder. <laughs> when I saw the video, I was cracking up last night. That woman climb a ladder. To go up his house. She was pushing on him. It's a video where she pushing on him. Anyway, if it was him who done that to her, it would have been a different scenario. And then she came out and still trying to justify what she did. But if it was last year, whatever it was 10 years ago, that was not where you live. So you're still doing crazy stuff. You don't live there. So why are you doing that? You know? If you want the man, just say you want the man. You know, so some of we women, we have too much pride. Because sometimes we know we want the person, even male too. Some of y'all know y'all want to work things out. But rather than trying to get it better. If you have a partner and every chance you get, you speak bad on the person with someone. You think the person really going to want you? Even if them sleep with you. You think they're going to want you? No. Because they're going to always remember how we lower them. You know? A man likes to feel like a man. Not saying that a woman wants a man who is controlling. Because I don't want a man controlling. But, you, but a man like when a woman respect them. Likewise, it's supposed to go vice versa. A woman wants a man to respect her. You know? So if every situation you have and you have to blast it on the internet or call a friend or say something bad about the person or lower the person if the person 
is going through um financial situation you know and every chance you get you put down that man that man will never have respect for you because he's gonna remember what you do and every chance you got he's a deadbeat he's a deadbeat because i've been watching them and let me tell you something I watch her movie on Tubi. I'm still not going to call her name, but I hope y'all understand who I'm talking about. I watch her movies on Tubi. And that girl can act. <laughs> no. When I see those videos that, he, that he, <laughs> he released, I was like, oh, shit. Now I know why. Sorry for my language. Now I know why she act those movies so good. Because she's naturally crazy. <laughs> Listen, I'm still going to watch her movie. Though, but I just have to speak the truth. The truth is just the truth. I will still be watching her movie. Because I'm waiting for part 4 to come out. You understand? But I just hope um, he get the help. She get the help. Because in situations where kids are involved. Um, it's hard. Versus it have to do with the media. Those things will affect the child. You know, so I hope the both of them get the help that they need, you know, on his side and her side, you know, because it's not normal for a female to do that, what she did, like climbing. I never see this. This is extreme because what if he had saw the person trying to come over with the ladder and thought it was someone trying to steal, trying to invade his own? You understand? And actually, if your mother fire um shoot, you know, and what if he was a heave a person to say, you know what, the girl at the climbing fence, may I go to stick it and lick her over it because I guess what, him can say, oh, I didn't realize it was her, you know, just get her on ratted, lick, send her back over, you see me? Then I'm the same wicked, don't. No? But it is just crazy. I love her. That's crazy. That's another crazy. You know, but anyway, guys, I want you all to stay tuned for a lot more video. And remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll be coming to you with a lot more videos. You understand? And sorry for the dark screen. Um, sorry for the dark screen. You understand? I will definitely start posting more often. You know, I'm definitely gonna start post more often, but it's gonna be mostly nighttime, like after eight o'clock. Most of my video will be going out, you know. So blessings to you all. And remember to love one another. Live and lead with love. Don't be selfish. Appreciate what others do for you. You know, put God first in everything you do. Bye.